Hi, my name is Katie Dillman. I'm a reference librarian at the Blackstone Library. I'm here today to talk with some local seniors about iPads and technology. They have questions and I'll try to answer them. This is John, Anne, and Nancy. Uh, first, I'd like to start with a little background of iPad technology. iPads are very powerful tools for connecting, creating, communicating, but they can also be pretty intimidating. Uh, hopefully what we talk about here today will make you feel a little more comfortable about with interacting with iPads and using uh, them to get the most out of your device. What is an iPad? An iPad is a tablet. Tablets are lightweight personal computers. They're bigger than smartphones, smaller than most laptops. There are different types of tablets made by different manufacturers. The most common is Apple's iPad, and that runs the Apple iOS software. OS means operating system. There are other manufacturers making a variety of devices, and they run the Android OS. Recently, Windows has uh, come out with a there's a Surface tablet, and that runs off the Windows operating system. Um, whatever the type of tablet you have, they all have some characteristics that are common to them. Um, all of the tablets have a touch screen that make it easy to type, select, move text around. Um, most of them you can add on a physical keyboard either with a special case or a mobile one using Bluetooth wireless communications. Bluetooth is a special technology that allows devices to talk to each other. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> tablets all connect to the internet via Wi-Fi, which just means wireless internet. A lot of devices offer additional connectivity uh, using 3G or 4G service. 3G and 4G runs just like your cell phones. It connects with the cell phone towers. Usually that means uh, you need some kind of monthly service. There's an additional charge, uh -huh. but it offers constant connectivity. Wi-Fi service is free, but it's boosted through routers, so it's just a local connection. As soon as you move out of the range, you lose the service. Uh, most tablets, when you buy them, they come preloaded with apps. Apps are just like programs on the computer. They make it go, they give you additional functionality. There are thousands of apps available. Apps are, basically anybody can design an app. They can, they write the code, they make it happen, and then they make it available to people. Uh, some <coughs> Apple, some other manufacturers close off access to apps, so they only allow certain apps to be sold through their stores. Mm -hmm. um, but mm -hmm. those certain apps, there's many, 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 many to choose from. Um, when you have your device, you get the apps through the App Store. Apple has the App Store, the Google Android, uh, Google has the Play Store, other devices have their own names for the stores. With the apps that you get, you can access your email, you can play games, you can make video calls, take pictures, share videos, anything you can think of. Uh, at the library, we actually have access to a company that lets you download an app, and then with your library card, you can borrow ebooks, audiobooks, mm. you can also sure, borrow sure. digital magazines and you can stream uh, independent movies. And it's all for free, anywhere you connect to wireless. Um, so if you want to learn more about that, you can ask us at the library. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> if you do get stuck when you're using your tablet, you have a question, the easiest thing to do is go online, you do a search, Google, Bing, any search engine, Type in your question, type in a keyword. Chances are somebody else has had that same problem and it's been answered online and you can get your question answered really quickly. You can also call us at the library. Um, 
We have knowledgeable staff who can help you find the answers you need. We have uh, Tech Tuesday programs. Every Tuesday we set aside a chunk of time and you can call us and set up an appointment for a one-on-one -on -one session with a librarian. And we'll sit down and go over how to download books, how to set up email, anything like that. You do have to call ahead though. <laughs> uh, once you get more comfortable with your tablet, we have a monthly group that meets. Uh, it's the Tablet Tips and Tricks class. And so you can come and share any tricks you've discovered, your favorite apps. It's a, it's a fun group and yeah. you know there's a lot to cover. So the hour goes by really fast. Um, the Branford Senior Center also offers classes on technology. They have yeah. technology tutors. So you can call them and you know set up an appointment with them. The best thing to do for your tablet is to just use it. Play with it, download apps. Unless you drop it or throw it really hard, you're not going to break it. Um, so just tap it. Um, that covers pretty much the background, what I wanted to say. I'd like to open it up for any questions that you may have. The Tuesday program, is it's, it's in the afternoon at the library? For the, it's, if you had questions on your we just generally make morning appointments. In morning, okay. Um, but if you just can't make it in the morning, we'll work what with you. What was it called again? Tech Tuesdays. Tech Tuesdays. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it is by appointment, so just call mm -hmm. us and we'll try to find a good time mm -hmm. for you. That's very good. And it's open to everybody. That's great. Is that just one person per Yes. Uh, you you teacher? book a half hour session and it's just you and the librarian. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you came with questions, it would probably yeah, make good use of the time. Yeah, the half hour goes really fast. Oh, I'm sure, <laughs> yeah. I, I was curious, um, one of the things you said was that when you're out of a Wi-Fi area, you can't use your uh, tablet. But I know that t t uh, you can use an iPhone in the, when you're in the car and just driving around. The, the, you can't do that with a... Right. So the iPhone... You pay a monthly fee to connect to the 3G uh -huh. or the 4G or the LTE, and that connects to cell towers. So you're paying for that constant ah, connection. Th some iPads, you can pur purchase additional connectivity, but you do have to d have that monthly service oh, plan. Fee. I see. With the Wi-Fi, it just goes from router to router. So chances are you're, you're connected most places you're going to go, but in the car when you're driving, it's not going to find mm -hmm. a connection. And a lot of places, if you go to McDonald's or Dunkin' Donuts, when you go to, you'll have to choose to connect to their wireless network, and they'll have a little splash page that pops up. When you come into the library, if you connect to our wireless router, it just says, you know, this is a public network, just be aware, and then you hit accept, and then it'll complete the connection. Is that what a spl splash page one is? That's what, it. Yep. That's what it is? That's exactly it's just, what it is. I've never heard that. Yeah. yeah it's a little pop-up that comes up. Uh -huh. um, and then once you hit accept, it'll go right into the internet uh -huh. connection. It's like a little welcome screen mm -hmm. uh, to whatever establishment yep. you're in. Okay. Thank you. Um, and that's not secure. Uh, if I wanted to do banking, online banking at McDonald's or Starbucks, at my own risk? or It is at your own risk. Um, hmm. I'm not completely well versed with how risky it is. Okay. I know people can, if, if they really want to, they're going to get in and hack it. Yeah. Um, but it is an open network. So I guess you're, when you're connected to the internet and you're downloading pages and sending information, all of that information is being sent. And so if somebody has the right technology, the right devices, they can intercept that information. Okay. I don't know how many people are sitting at McDonald's looking for that, yeah. but it, it is a chance. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I haven't had anybody come and complain about their banking information being <laughs> stolen from the library, so <laughs> that's good. That's good. <laughs> I would think an airport or someplace where they expect to have businessmen would be... Right. They might have people trying to troll. Yeah. yeah. Well, and you know, this whole thing with the, the Target credit cards, oh, yeah. you know, maybe it's just easy enough oh, to, you know, mm -hmm. bad people are going to be everywhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So. Mm -hmm. um, 
Anything else? So you can take pictures with your iPad, right? I heard you say that you can use that as a, a camera. Yep. Yeah, most, I think all the new ones, um, they all have cameras. Most tablets nowadays have cameras. They'll come with a preloaded camera app that's pretty basic, but still has a lot of functionality. So you can take a picture, take a video. Uh, you can crop the pictures, change some of the filters so that it's lighter or darker. There are a bunch of camera apps that give you additional functionality to, uh, you can make collages where you can put three or four pictures in one and then they'll let you email it, post it to Facebook or Twitter or Instagram mm -hmm. or, you know, Be careful what anything. you take pictures of and yeah, send, right? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But it is, it is really fun. Um, we're looking at maybe doing some programs at the library where we actually have iPads at the library uh -huh. for people to use. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try to come up with some programs and I thought a self-portrait one might be fun where you mm -hmm. take a picture and then you can edit it. You know, you can change the color. It, it, it can be a lot yeah. of fun. But now iPad and tablet. Now you've said it, but I need to hear you say it again, I guess. What's the difference? So an iPad, Are they interchangeable, pretty much? Pretty much. I mean, I think most people... And what's the advantage now You, if you had a laptop? Well, obviously these are smaller. They're smaller. Or they have you, the touch screen. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, touch screen. And the other you could use keyboard or touch screen. Yeah. Uh, a lot of... Um, so there are programs that work just for computers. And then there are apps that work just for the tablets, tablets or the iPads. And a lot of them, you get the same types of programs, like there's Microsoft Word or there's Word mm -hmm. for Mac for the computer. Mm -hmm. There are document editing apps. Mm -hmm. There's a Pages app for uh, iPad. And you can do the same thing. You can create a document, insert pictures. Um, it's really just another way to be connected, connected, make things happen, so this, people this find it easier. This is an iPad or tablet. I've already. This is an iPad. Pad. Yep. So the tablet, the tablet is, is kind larger? of like saying TV, and then an, an iPad more like, is, is it saying. Larger? Then an iPad is a tablet. iPad is a tablet. iPad is, is a, a tablet. Is iPads always a tablet? Is a tablet always an iPad? Not necessarily. No. Right, okay. exactly. Okay, good. <laughs> so there are That's Android good. tablets that look a lot like this. They mm -hmm. might be shaped differently. Mm -hmm. They might have access to different apps. The settings button is going to look different. So there, it's the same functionality, but it's just a different manufacturer. Oh, okay. That's good. Yeah. All right. Um, let's see what have they come down in price much? I th yeah. Um, I know the Kindle Fire or the Kindle HD has come down a lot in price, and that's a little smaller. Um, it's about half the size. They all have different benefits to them. You know, if they're a little smaller, the battery life might be shorter. Okay. Um, but the iPads they haven't really come down in price very yeah. much. They. If you get an older generation one, um, I think this one is an iPad 2, and they're now on like the fifth iteration of it. They've gotten lighter. Um, so it's really just weighing, if you're, if you're shopping for an iPad, if you think you might take it around with you a lot, you probably want something that's on the lighter end. Mm -hmm. If you <coughs> like to take a lot of pictures, uh, you might some, want something that responds faster. You know, some some of the higher end tablets work a lot faster. And if you find yourself getting frustrated with a slow computer, you know, so it might be worth the investment of the extra money just to not have that that spinning bar frustration. <laughs> you know? A little hourglass. Exactly. Yeah, oh, that exactly. blue thing going around and around. I mean it is it is technology. It's gonna have its bugs. Um, so a lot of times spending a little bit more up front will save you a lot of headache later on. One of the things, I have an, an iPad and I do very, very little with it. Uh, one of the things I had enjoyed doing was taking photographs 
and I had I knew how to take the photograph. I knew how to set it up, and and then all of a sudden they changed the program. Mm. You know, or they improved it, and now it's very difficult for me to figure out what to do and so forth. Is there any way of backing or uh, back up? It's. That happens with my computer too. They improve things, yeah. and I didn't ask them to. Yeah. I know, I know. What you mean? I think it, it depends on the app. Hmm. Like if you if you upgrade the operating system periodically, they'll send out upgrades. Oh. From what I understand, it's really hard to go back mm -hmm. a generation. As far as kind of downgrading the apps. There may be a way, but it might be app specific. You I might see. have to contact. If you I do see. a little research online for that specific app, mm -hmm. um, you might be able to find the answer. The other option is to explore other camera apps. Mm -hmm. You know, you can you can download oh. a bunch, mm -hmm. try them out, and if you don't like them, you delete them. Mm -hmm. And they're not going to take up a lot of space. It's mm. really just an investment of time. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And what about storing photographs? Does that take up a lot of space? It can. Um, I've gotten a lot of notifications recently that my storage is almost full, and I, I think it's mm. from the pictures. Um, it's not, the videos. Videos take up a ton of space. I would imagine. Um, I have a seven-year-old, and she likes to take herself, you know, mm -hmm. take videos of herself singing, and then all of a sudden, my iPad storage is full. <laughs> so I figured out that I can actually send the videos to YouTube to a private oh. listing, and then mm. delete them from the iPad, which opens up the storage. Oh, interesting. Um, with the iPads, when you get them, I don't know so much about the Android side. Apple offers something called iCloud. I was just thinking that, about that, yeah. yeah. With the iCloud, your photos, not your videos, your photos are backed up automatically to the cloud. Ah. If you have an iPad and an iPhone, they share the iCloud if you use the same iTunes account. Mm -hmm. So they share, you can take a picture on your iPhone and then have it show up on your iPad. Mm -hmm. you, know, you can look at it, do whatever you want with that. Yeah. How, how do you hook up your iPhone, iPad to a, your printer so that you could then print a photograph or, printing, or document? <laughs> printing is tricky with, ah. with iPads. Oh, um, a lot of printers won't even recognize mm. that there's a device. The device mm. won't recognize that there's a printer. They do not talk to each other very well. Mm -hmm. There are some... AirPrint apps, I think you can get that will recognize some older uh, printers. But if you're, if you have an old printer, it's probably not going to work with the iPad. Yeah. A lot of newer ones, when you're buying them, they'll say enabled for AirPrint, something like that. Mm -hmm. So it needs to say that. Yeah. And then once you plug that in, it'll be that kind of Bluetooth wireless technology. As soon as you get it on and get it set up. When you're in something that should print and you hit the print button on the iPad, it'll just yeah. show up. Now, what I did was I took a picture, I air, uh, emailed it to my PC, and then my PC told the, my printer, please print it. Yep. But I thought, maybe this has got to be a simpler way. Yeah, it really depends on the printer, but that's probably ah. one of the only solutions. There, there are Ooh. some apps that you can put on, there's one called Dropbox, which is hmm. really handy. You put it on your uh, tablet, install it on your computer, and then the files that you save are accessible oh, anywhere you are. Hmm. So a lot of times at the library, I'll take a picture with my phone of an event, upload it to the Dropbox folder, and then from my computer, I pick mm -hmm. it up. So it's essentially emailing it, but it's just without the the step of emailing it. Yeah, not that hmm. exactly. Can you store stuff to the um, the thumb drives or the little SD cards? Uh, are there slots for those on the tablets or? Think so. Not on the iPads. Some of the the Android tablets have a USB slot, or they have the SD cards where you can save things. Okay. 
it's kind of my understanding that they're not meant so much to be kind of plugged into. It's all supposed to be with the cloud. To the cloud. To the cloud, yes. That brings up a good question. Where is this cloud? Yeah. <laughs> what is this cloud, right? Yeah. The cloud, I don't know. The cloud is everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's the NSA. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if, you, if you do a search um, of Google's servers, there were some pictures where they kind of opened up their warehouse recently, and it's just a huge warehouse full of these, basically these giant computers. And so it's just a computer, essentially, that is acting as this little server. If you picture like somebody, you know, a server at a restaurant, they're carrying dishes here, they're carrying mm -hmm. food here, and that's what this computer does. It, it mm -hmm. moves the information from place to place. So the cloud is a physical location uh, or many, many physical many, locations. Many. Okay. Yeah. I think okay. there's one in New Jersey that I read about. It's an enormous building. And all it oh, is really? is filled with these computers. All the information. Storing wow. information. Wow. Really. It's pretty neat. Yeah, I think Google had the ship or the boat, right? They were putting this huge yeah. ship hmm. together. I haven't uh, heard about that, but yeah, that sounds cool. I believe that was <laughs> California. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. It's like a giant router, just powering the wireless internet wherever it goes. Mm. <laughs> Amazing. It is. Gosh. Well, you, you mentioned um, things like the Kindle and whatever the other one was. Uh, but I know you can read things on the, an iPad. So, Like books, you mean? Yeah. Yes, what, yes I why would one want to purchase those other things? That's, that's an interesting question. Um, the th there are Kindle and Nook e-readers that are just re for reading e-books. They're black and white, no apps, that's it. Mm -hmm. They're really inexpensive. Inexpensive. So if all you want to do is read, read a book, book, the nice thing about that is it's pretty easy to enlarge text. You can borrow mm. ebooks to those devices and they're super light. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no glare in the sun so you can sit at the beach and read. Mm -hmm. So that might be a draw <coughs> for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. The tablets have all the additional functionality. You can, yeah. you know, the pictures and the apps and this yeah. and that. So then it becomes which app do I get? And then it's really just a personal do I want to spend a lot of money? Do I want to mm -hmm. save some money? What do I get for what I'm spending? You know, and I, if you, you come into the library in person, we can maybe talk more about specific mm -hmm. features. Mm -hmm. I don't want to lean in any one particular direction, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> there are some ones that are a lot easier to deal with than others. Uh -huh. um, but that, I think that's all we have time for today. Mm -hmm. That's what I've heard. Um, so I'd like to thank you very much for coming oh, and talking. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's Katie. very um, nice. really appreciate it. Like yes. I said, come into the library, talk, talk to, to a librarian. That. You know, thank you. We might not have all the answers, but we can sure help you find them. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. All right. <laughs>